Tributes from across the racing world have been paid to trainer Oliver Brady, who passed away after a long battle with cancer. The County Monaghan man was an immensely popular character. He was horse racing's larger-than-life figure, and despite winning several graded races, this is what he'll be remembered for best. I'll take care of the big boys when the time comes. We're not scared of the big boys. We might be from Monaghan, and we might not be fit to play too much football, but by heavens, we can train horses. I think if you could go through life and be as popular as Oliver and make as many friends and have as many people when you're gone uh, respect what you did, I think your time down here would have been well spent. We made it look easy. Brady's health problems were numerous, but they never stopped him from doing what he loved. I was suffering uh, when the day I was at Nace when Marlon won, I was after being to hospital three days before it and he told me that my lungs was in a mess and that uh, I was suffering badly, breathing problems and so on. But I can tell you when he passed the post at Nace, somehow or another those breathing problems seemed to disappear. He dreamt of glory at Cheltenham. Probably my dream come true. The one thing that I just am missing is I've got winners everywhere bar, um, bar Cheltenham. I've been placed and placed and placed, but never, never got to the, winner, the winner's enclosure. His horse ran well, really well there over the years. Ebedia was travelling well when he fell in the triumph. But he had a horse that was third in the Coral Cup there one year. And he got a great kick out of that because it's a unique sort of a winner's enclosure. And Oliver treated the Irish and the English uh, to some great banter. And while that victory eluded him, it was one of the very few things in life that escaped the inimitable Oliver Brady. They were given nothing away today. They've learned to realise that there's a trainer in Monaghan. Oh! What about it, boys? Justin Tracy, RTE News.